what's up everybody welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for clicking on our video today we are always so happy and super super excited to have you guys here so if you're watching today's video kindly consider subscribing to the channel because it's totally free do not forget to like and share this video and also leave me a comment in the comment section let me know which gown for this video is your favorite and why Everything can break, it's a risk you take I went out on a limb, but I fell down It was my mistake, thought that you would wait You should know that it hurt me to leave town I heard you found a new friend Who's an all good friend of mine My heart it beats like a drum Drum just to numb my mind It should have been me I hope you can see I wish I was there with you tonight But I should let go A long time ago But I just keep going back in time Now that it's all too late I shouldn't have run away So in today's video let's talk about some of the 10 things that you need to consider when choosing your wedding venue and congratulations you're engaged now for the first big step choosing your wedding venue and uh, we're going to share with you some of the things that you need to consider while shopping around and all those things are equally important. Thank you. 
So first and foremost, you need to consider how many guests will attend your wedding. And when it comes to, to deciding on the number of the guests, this will greatly narrow down your venue choices. A majority of wedding venues can cater for about 120 guests, but indoor with a dance floor. However, there are bespoke venues that can cater for smaller weddings of 50 guests, but only a few venues can accommodate a party of 200 people and more. And given the current uh, restrictions around gatherings, be sure sure to keep your guest list to a maximum of 100 if you're having an indoor wedding and uh, probably at 250 if you're having an outdoor wedding. also need to consider the venue cost and your venue hire and catering should make up no more than 50% of your total wedding budget and take the venue cost and multiply it with five and if this figure is above your total budget then that's too expensive and you'll be better off to continue your research in finding your perfect venue and booking a venue that takes up more than 50% of your wedding budget means that you will have to cast uh, to cut cost on other elements and it might make you look like a Queen saving McDonald's at a royal fest. You also have to know what it's uh, what's included in the venue hire fee. Venue packages differ enormously from one to another, and you need to find out where these things are included. If not, uh, then you are looking at an added hiring cost. You need to uh, look at tables and chairs to seat all your guests. Do you like what they include? Crockery and cutlery for all. Have a look at the quality and make sure that you're happy with what they offer. Uh, waiter and bar staff, do they allow outside? Caterers, can you bring your own wine and what's the cockage fee? Also, shortlist venues in the area that you want to get married in, and you need to do like a basic Google search before you hit the road on venue scouting. Narrow it down to a list of three venues that you absolutely love and three that you like. And before you visit the venue on the shortlist, send a basic email and request the wedding package.
You also need to know if the venue is available for your date. The popularity of season unfortunately creates a peak on demand and it is for that reason that you will have to start looking around at least a year ahead of time if you want to be certain of getting a specific date. So in the in the Western Cape, uh, the summer, the autumn, due to higher winter rainfall, are the best season to get married in. And in Guateng, uh, Gauteng, I'm sorry, that gets summer rain, you might decide to rather go for a crisp, clear winter wedding. But there are more factors than climate to consider, as venues can look vastly different from season to season. And the best advice is that you do a web search for weddings around the time of the year and you want to get married in. So if cost is a factor, then you can decide taking a risk and booking a venue out of peak season. But if you do take this risk, make sure that your venue has suitable indoor facilities should the weather gods get uh, let you down. So most venue offers better, uh, better during the low season rates. So lovelies, thank you so much for watching today's video. We'll be able to continue with more tips on our next video. Kindly consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I hope that I'll see you on the next one. Everything can break. It's a risk you take. I went out on a limb, but I fell down. It was my mistake. Thought that you would wait You should know that it hurt me to leave town I heard you found a new friend Who's an all good friend of oh mine My heart, it beats like a drum Let it drum just to numb my mind It should have been me Should have been